up guys? I'm so glad you guys could join me in the studio today. So I had this crazy idea. Oh wait, let me turn that washer and dryer off so we don't have so much background noise. That is better. Okay, so, okay, so, that was my news resolution. I was gonna stop saying, okay, so. I had this idea that between Christmas and New Year's, I wanted to throw a hundred new mugs to be used at the coffee shop, and they would each have the Mulk Monkey logo on them, so they'd be stamped. So, we would do 12, 16, 20 ounce mugs. Because Christmas is over, I don't have to, like, make a bunch of pottery for anything else, and I was like, this is a good time to I wanted to do this for a long time. Like we just used 12, 16, 20 ounce mugs and they're kind of mismatched, but I want like logos. Trying to get exactly 12 ounces, 16 ounces and 20 ounces is not the easiest thing in the world. So we hopped on the wheel yesterday and I started. We threw about 50 mugs yesterday. Let's do it. Let's get to this project. I'm excited to get some consistency among the stores too. We'll be good. So we're gonna get on the wheel. We're gonna throw some, so we already have, I think these are gonna be about 16 ounces. You never really know until you're done. And then we gotta stamp a bunch of logos. We gotta put handles on. I'm gonna take you along with me. Let's do it! We got some mugs that we threw yesterday. These are 16 ounce mugs that we are going to put some handles on. So, first thing we're doing is scoring where those handles go. So I, you can put logos on first, or you can put handles on first, it doesn't really matter the order. Some of these I put handles on first, some of them I put logos on first. You know, just I mix it up, mix it up. Keep things exciting. I'm happy that these, this isn't the most exciting thing that's in my life. That one I already did. All right, so now we're gonna go over to our uh, extruder. So yesterday we put a bunch of clay in here. Basically the extruder just pushes clay through some kind of uh, shape. So basically I'm just pulling this down. So 
So normally, and I'll do this later, normally I'd lay out like a bunch and do a lot at one time, but all right, so we got slip, got a needle tool, got a texture tool. So then what I like to do is I'll score them like this and this, and I'll flip these two over and then score both sides like that. That's a little, little handle hack. You have the right side scored here and scored down here. And I do that. And then when I'm bending these, I'm really particular about this. Like when I try and teach people, it's kind of difficult. Like a lot of people will just like bend it, just be it. Like, but I really want it to be a flowy, like really flowy. So instead of just like bending this side down, I really make sure that I'm like moving it so that it's all one motion. I really, it's really hard to explain. I've tried explaining it. Even my wife has like a hard time doing it and she's done quite a few. Okay, we're just gonna take our handle, put a little slip, slip there, slip there. Put it right there and right here. And then for my handles, what I like to really do is I like to make sure that that the handle actually looks like it's like almost a branch growing out of the mug. So I like to blend that really well. And then I like to go in and blend this really well too. So this works great if the handles are at the right consistency. Boom, there it is. That's pretty much done. I'd, I'd go back one more time before I like finish it to make sure that the handle's smooth. I'll smooth out the bottom. And now we're just gonna get after it. Now we're gonna make these logos, little medallions. So we have our stamp that we're using, and first we gotta throw a slab, so we're gonna just wedge this clay up a little bit. Wedge it up. I would normally wedge it a little bit more than that, but I wedged it before I turned the camera on. So we're gonna throw this out. Once again, check out that slab throwing video if you need to. Are you ready for another potter hack? So if we wanna cut out a bunch of these logos, you know, the first one would be probably good, but by the time we got to two, three, four, five, six, however many we're gonna do, the stamp would really start to stick to the thing and it wouldn't be a very clear cut. So we are gonna use our trusty corn starch to act as a releasing agent so that the stamp does not. So I'm gonna take a little brush, take some cornstarch and just brush. And then to make it a perfect circle, I have this set of circle cookie cutters. It may change at some point, but I'm gonna do circles first. Take this stamp, push it really evenly, and I'm just turning it, and there we go. Boom. So now I just gotta do that for all these. We are going to put the logo on, score it, and if I really wanted to increase my efficiency, I would have scored all the backs of these at one time. But I forgot to do that. Dang it. Put a little, little bit of slippy on there. Slippy slip, slippy slippy, slip slip slipperoony. There it is. Now all she needs is a big old handle. And you got a 20 ounce mug right there. Right there. There's one. So many more to do. Oh gosh! So, so much more. It's gonna be 
so sweet when these are done. I am jacked. Pumped! All right, friends, we are getting mugs done. We are getting mugs done. So we got our 12 ounces, we got our 20 ounces, we got our 16 ounces. We have like somewhere between 25 and 30 of each one. It's, it's coming, it is coming. Spent the majority of yesterday and it's like two o'clock today. Working on this project, making mugs for Mocha Monkey to be used, it's going good. I don't think that I could do this all year long where all I do is just crank out mugs like some production pottery. I mean, I could do it if I had to do it, but would I still love pottery? I don't know, there's something really nice about being able to just, I even had to throw some other things that kind of were getting me excited, some candle holders and just some other stuff that wasn't like mug. Who knows? We're gonna call it a day for today. These are still a little too wet. I wanna put some bigger handle. These are too wet to do anything with right now. So we'll come back tomorrow, finish these up. Hopefully we'll have like kind of everything done what do we have? One, two, three, four, three, four. Probably gotta throw a few more of the 12 ounce ones. But we're right around like 70 mugs that we got in the process right now. What would that be? 70? So say, say I was selling these mugs at 40 bucks and I could do 70 a week. 70 a week times 40 would be 2,800 a week times 52 weeks, 145,000. Yeah, I'm constantly doing math like that in my head. Like if I were to be a full-time potter and I did X, I, I, Z and how much would I make that year? So 70 mugs a week at 40 bucks a piece, $150,000 a year, that'd be, that'd be pretty good. Would I be able to crank out 70 mugs per week? I mean, this has been just in like two days. I'm gonna put up a few of these on Etsy in the, in the next Etsy restock, which if you go to the website, johnschmidtpottery.com, you can see the countdown. I really have like no pottery for that restock. So that's kind of a way to like, that, that countdown is gonna be fun for me. It's gonna be like, all right, John, you gotta be ready to go. Gotta have a video ready to go up. Gotta have pots ready to go up on Etsy. So I'm stamping this little monkey stamp right here. Boop, on the bottom of all of them. So there's that cornstarch, keep that stamp. All right, ready? So they all have a little monkey stamp down the bottom. Thanks to Justin's Makery for making me these stamps. Tune into the next one to see us finish all these, glaze them, bisque them, all that jazz. So subscribe, comment, like, hit that bell button to be notified. We'll see you in the next video.